under the protections and prestige afforded by Catholic institutions and the hierarchs who run them, some of the most cunning predator priests have been able to build successful careers as influential educators and fundraisers, all while sexually abusing children behind the scenes. Such was the case for Reverend Father Eugene J. O'Brien, a Jesuit priest and pillar of the Jesuit-run All Boys Fordham Preparatory School in the Bronx, New York. Prior to his ordination in 1956, O'Brien worked at Fordham as an instructor. He then fortified his career as an educator through a series of teaching assignments at the College of Sacred Heart in Woodstock, Maryland, St. Peter's Prep in Jersey City, St. Robert's Hall in Pomfret, Connecticut, and finally returning to Fordham Prep, where over the following decades, he combined his reputation and positions of power within the school as a shield for a secret legacy of child sexual abuse. In 1960, Father O'Brien was appointed headmaster of Fordham Prep. By 1970, he ascended to headmaster president. Five years later, he was named president of the school. At the peak of his power, he spearheaded the construction of Rose Hall, a place that, quote, celebrates and protects the dignity of the human person. He even convinced popular singer Bing Crosby to perform at a fundraiser to help pay for it. In 1980, Fordham Prep's affiliated Jesuit college, Fordham University, awarded Father O'Brien the Insignis Medal, an honor recognizing extraordinary distinction in the service of God and humanity. Shortly after receiving this honor, O'Brien moved on from Fordham, strengthening his celebrated reputation by giving lectures and working in the area of substance abuse treatment. He remained close to educational environments during this period, including taking a position at Fairfield College Prep in Connecticut. It wasn't until 1993, while O'Brien was president of the Georgian University Foundation, that reports of his sexual abuse of teenage students at Fordham Prep came to light. That year, a survivor brought a lawsuit against O'Brien, alleging that the headmaster sexually abused him on numerous occasions between 1964 and 1966, both on school grounds and during a school trip to Europe. The survivor also reported having been targeted by Father Roy A. Drake, a science teacher who unsuccessfully attempted to molest him in the Fordham University Seismic Observatory. The O'Brien case was settled by the school in the Archdiocese of New York in 1997 for $25,000. In spite of this, Fordham Prep allowed both O'Brien and Drake to continue to live on campus. In 2005, another survivor filed a lawsuit, stating that as a 13-year-old, he was raped by Father Drake in the priest's on-campus apartment the night before a 1968 ski trip, while O'Brien was headmaster. Father Drake died in 2008 in the Bronx, following a two-year stint at Viani Renewal Center, a sexual abuse treatment facility in Dittmer, Missouri. On January 15, 2019, the Northeast Province of the Society of Jesus identified O'Brien as credibly accused of sexual abuse committed against minors. His last known whereabouts was the Jogues Retreat Center in Cornwall, New York in 2013. His current whereabouts are unknown.